to allow our mobile application to use Amazon S3 service and be able to connect to S3 bucket and upload an image there, we will need to use a special mobile service um, called Cognito. So to access this service, you will need to open Amazon Web Services and log in into a console, then you will get this uh, Amazon Web Services dashboard. And under Mobile Services, click on Cognito. That will open Cognito uh, landing page. And Cognito is a very, very powerful service. It basically, it uh, allows you, let's, let's just read it, makes it easy for you to have users sign up sign in to your apps, federate identities from social identity providers, for example, like Facebook or Google+, and secure access to Amazon Web Services resources, and also synchronize data across multiple devices and platforms. So um, to, to be able to upload image to S3 bucket, we will need to create um, a federated identity. So I will click on this blue button, Manage Federated Identities. Okay, and I already have one uh, federated identity created. So I uh, will create a new identity pool by clicking on this blue button. And I will give identity pool a name. I will give it a name, Video Tutorial. And then I will need to check this checkbox to enable access to unauthenticated identities. And if you click on authentication providers, you will see um, providers that you can use to allow your application users to log in with, like a user will be able to log in with Facebook, for example, and Google+, but we're not going to use it uh, in, in this time. So uh, we um, enable access for unauthenticated identities, and then we create identity pool. Okay, and now we can view details. We are going to create a new role called Cognita Video Tutorial uh, Auth Role and an Auth Role. Cognita Video Tutorial and Auth Role. And we are going to click on Allow button. And that's it. We are taken to the next step, which is a sample code. And we can preview sample code for different languages, like for example, iOS Swift. And um, we can make use of this uh, source code right away, but because we are not going to work with data sets, we are going to use uh, federated identity to upload image to S3 bucket, we will not copy this. So the next step for us will be to go to back to services, like if you click on this menu at the top, and you can see a history of the services that you used earlier, or all Amazon Web Services if you move your mouse over the topmost menu. And you will need to find the one which is called IAM, Identity Access Manager. So um, I will go to all Amazon Web Services and then I will look for the one which is called IAM. It's here on my screen. So I'll click on this one and go to Identity Access Manager. Uh, on this page, I will need to go to Roles on the left side menu and I'll click on roles and it will list down roles that have been created. And the one that we've created, it was cognitive video tutorial. So I will click on the one that's called an auth for um, unauthenticated and um, the page opens. I'll need to scroll down a little bit uh, to the policy section inline policies and I will need to edit this policy. I will click on edit policy link and that will take me to the policy document. Here I will make a little change and right after the cognitive sync I will put comma and quotation marks and I will type S3 service and then asterisk like this. And apply policy to this document. I'll click on the button and this is done. So we have created an identity pool and we've created roles and policy. And now we should be able to connect from our Swift code to uh, our S3 bucket. And let's just quickly go back to services and then Cognita 
and then I will click on manage federated identities video tutorial and then I will for example click on edit identity pool and here I'll see identity pool ID so this is the ID that we will use on Swift code to let our application be able to connect uh, to S3 bucket and if we go to sample code and see how it is being used uh, with data sets I'll choose iOS Swift we'll see that this same identity pool ID is used with um, cognitive cred uh, credential providers okay so uh, we have created identity pool we have identity pool ID and we can continue